everyone. Trust that you're doing well. Uh, glad to have you back on this study. We're looking at the life of Jesus. We're looking at his mandate, his mission, and the fact that he has commissioned his people to go and do the works that he he has done for us. Um, and today, I specifically want to consider the fact that uh, the Lord Jesus is somebody who steps into our lives, steps into various circumstances of life and shows his glory in those circumstances. Now, in um, his earthly ministry, there were times when he met people at their point of need uh, and performed a miracle. In Luke chapter 5, there is a miracle recorded of a bountiful catch of fish. Um, it was a miraculous catch because you see that Simon, a fisherman, he was uh, fishing all night and he found nothing. However, at the words of the Lord Jesus, you know, who um, is not from a fishing background, but you know, he still gives uh, Simon instructions and he says, okay, put the net on the other side. And Simon follows those instructions and he finds a miraculous catch of fish. So we uh, see here that Jesus met Simon at a time when he was going through a low, you know, he was going through failure. Uh, he could have also been at a place where he was questioning his calling. He was questioning um, his training. And, you know, he, he, he was in a place where uh, he um, could have thought you know, about what was going on in life. Uh, but at that very moment, you have Jesus coming in with his power. You know, sometimes it only takes an instruction from God to see a miracle. And in this case, Jesus told him to put his nets on the other side and then it happened. Uh, and even when we are going through challenging circumstances in life, we see that James chapter 1 verse 5, uh, it asks for us to call upon God and seek his wisdom. And when we ask him, you know, God is somebody who gives it to us and then the miracle takes place. So in our lack, in our shortfall, you know, let's not um, uh, you know, come to a place where we are pitying ourselves uh, and you know, we are fearful about the future. Instead, just call upon Jesus and Jesus who did a miracle for Simon is able to do a miracle for us. And I also just want to encourage us, you know, there is a... Um, passage in Mark chapter 5 where we read about a certain woman who had a flow of blood and she was suffering with this for 12 years and she went to various physicians but you know it, to um, no benefit because she continued to suffer from this condition but then we read that uh, Jesus was uh, in, in her uh, town and then she goes after Jesus and she touches the hem of his garment. And then scripture tells us, Mark chapter 5, verse 29, immediately the fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed of the affliction. And so Jesus performed a miracle and immediately something that she had been suffering for for several years stopped in a moment. There was a turnaround and a breakthrough in a moment and that's what happens when we invite Jesus into our difficult situation. And I just want to pray together with us and I believe that you too will experience the breakthroughs of Jesus in your life. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we know that Lord, you are a God of miracles. You are a God of turnarounds. You are a God of breakthroughs. And Father, I pray that um, each one of us will experience your breakthrough in our given situation. And thank you, Lord. Thank you that you can bring in your abundance. Thank you that, Lord, uh, the oppression that has been taking place for many years that can be stopped in a moment, Lord. And so, Father, we speak your victory. And Father, I pray that you will be exalted. You will be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.